I thought I would just hop on here and do a quick little road trip car haul. I just went into a gas station to pick up some snacks and a drink to fuel me because I have a few hours to drive back home and then I'm going to vlog this weekend. I figured I would vlog this weekend because I have a lot on my to-do list. This is going to be a very productive weekend and I wanted to share it with you guys to inspire you all to accomplish your goals. I had a wonderful weekend in Valentine's Day and I'm just excited to get back to my apartment, get things organized and reset. I also have a lot of studying to do so I'm just excited to accomplish that and to start tackling what's on my to-do list. All right, so let me just show you guys what I got from the gas station. I was feeling a little bit hungry and I still have a little bit over two hours to go. So I figured I would pick some stuff up. So I got this vitamin water. I have been super dehydrated lately. I haven't been drinking enough water and I haven't been getting as much vitamins as I really need to. So I just picked this up just to get a boost of vitamin C vitamins B5, B6, B12, zinc and chromium, taurine and electrolytes, and it also has the antioxidant, which is the vitamin C. So I figured I would pick this up. This was going to replenish all of those vitamins and just give me a burst of energy. And this is the dragon fruit flavor. So next, I just picked up a few snacks. I saw these freshly made raspberry yogurt pretzels, so I picked these up. These are fresh by May 20th and they're 190 calories per serving. So I thought these would taste really good, especially with the dragon fruit vitamin water. And then lastly, I just picked up this protein bar. It's called One. It has 20 grams of protein and one gram of sugar, and this is the birthday cake flavor. So I'm excited to try these out, listen to some music and some lectures for class on the way home, and just enjoy this ride. I recently started a job dog walking. So once I got back home, I just took one of my dogs for a walk. He is super sweet and I really enjoy this job because it allows me to get some exercise, enjoy the fresh air outside, and just be around a really therapeutic, sweet animal. I also took my own dog for a little WALK. This time we just chose a random building to walk around that had some greenery and it was just such a beautiful day today so I was so grateful. Once I got back home to my apartment, I was feeling exhausted, tired from driving, and I just wanted to refresh myself. So I hopped in the shower, took a nice, warm, relaxing shower, and I cleaned myself from head to toe. When I got out of the shower, I just applied this Aztec Bentonite Clay Mask, which really helps detoxify my pores and just really cleanse my skin and tighten it. It felt really nice to be finally home after a couple of days out of town. I really enjoy being in my apartment and just being able to change into some nice clean clothes and just relax and enjoy the rest of my weekend. 
So I sat down to eat a quick lunch. I just had some spinach ravioli with some cut up cherry tomatoes. And then I opened the door in the window to let some fresh air in as I tidied up my desk space a little bit. I just removed everything off of my desk and wiped all of the surfaces down with an alcohol wipe. I like to do this just to have a clean surface to do a lot of studying. I had three exams coming up on the next Monday, so I needed to really use this weekend strongly to prepare for those exams. So once my desk was finally nice and organized and cleaned off, I was ready to study. So I just sat down and I made a to-do list on the things that I wanted to accomplish for each subject. I had three exams, like I said, so I had three different classes that I had stuff to do for. I also wrote down some other things that I wanted to get done this weekend, like resetting my apartment. And this just helps me stay organized and relieve stress that I have when I have a lot on my plate that I have to juggle in a short time frame. That way I get it out of my head and onto paper and I don't have to worry about it. I just have to refer back to my to-do list when I'm worried about things that I need to get done. After I completed my to-do list, I just started on some assignments that were due coming up. I had a couple of assignments due on Sunday, which was the next day. So I wanted to get those done and out of the way so I didn't have to worry about an approaching deadline. After that, I spent a few hours just studying for my exams. I reviewed PowerPoints, I rewatched lectures, I took notes on those lectures, I reviewed flashcards, and I reviewed the study guide that I had been typing up for the weeks of this particular unit that we were on. This studying took quite a while on this day. It is something that occupies every day of mine. I try to take breaks when I can, but when I have a huge block exam coming up, I really devote that entire weekend mostly to studying. I also now work two jobs on top of being a full-time student, and I have also started participating in some modeling and fashion shows, so I just have a lot on my plate to juggle at this point, in addition to YouTube. However, I am able to balance it all. It's just all a matter of planning and sticking to my goals and just making sure I have everything in place to set me up for success. As always, I really enjoy sharing my journey for you all. I feel like my life is pretty crazy right now, but I like sharing it with you and I like to be inspiring and motivating for you guys to accomplish your own goals. So I'm going to sit here and study for a little bit. I'm just typing up some notes right now off of a lecture that I was listening to. So I'm going to do this for a couple hours and just continue to study and then I will move on to the next part of the vlog. Now that it was late in the evening and I was finished studying, I just wanted to prepare a nice simple dinner for myself. 
I just decided to make some ribeye steak and I just started by sauteing it on the pan just for two minutes on both sides on medium high heat and then I'm going to pop it in the oven to roast and cook the rest of the way so that it is medium rare. I don't cook steak like this super often but when I do it is a special treat for me. I just love the flavors and the juiciness of it and it was so delicious on this evening. I spent some time with my dog of course. I just pet her and really appreciated her. She is such a light in my life and she really helps me during these stressful times with school and juggling everything else. So this is the final plate. I just have my steak. I made some sauteed spinach as well as some sweet potato that I just cooked in the microwave. And then for dessert, I just chopped up some fresh strawberries and I had those with some whipped cream that I made from scratch. So this was actually on the next night. I ended up not filming for the rest of the night on that video where I made the steaks because I was extremely tired. <laughs> So I just decided to film the next night, which was Sunday night. So this is me unloading my dishwasher. And as you can see, I'm also cooking dinner at this point for the next day. So I just made some sweet potato fries and some chicken fingers. I usually do something very simple the night before exams because I just quite frankly don't have the time to cook anything. So I just pop something in the oven really quick. That's super easy and takes no time. And I focus on the other things that I need to do. I did a little bit of tidying on this night before my exams because I like to wake up the next Next morning to a clean kitchen just so it doesn't add to my stress and it also gives me a little break from studying and it helps me relax a little bit. I always find cleaning very therapeutic and it's just something that helps me move around a little bit more as I was sitting at my desk for a while on this day. So I hope you guys enjoy this cleaning motivation. I took my exams the next morning and then I spent the afternoon doing the rest of my chores that needed to get done. Once I was finished wiping off my counters, I decided to call it from here. Usually I would sweep the floors as well, but I wanted to sit down and relax and just enjoy this dinner and then go to bed shortly after this to get a good night's rest. So I was fully rested for my exams the next day. I just sat down, enjoyed my meal. I also fed my dog and she always plays with her toys after she eats. It's like her little routine. And then I put on some fresh bed sheets on my bed so I would have a nice clean bed to crawl into and get a really nice night's rest.
to call it a night at this point. I am absolutely exhausted. I can barely keep my eyes open at this point. It has been just a really long day, but I'm going to continue cleaning and tidying my apartment tomorrow because I still have a lot of stuff to do. You guys can't see it right now, but my floor is currently covered in laundry, clean laundry and dirty laundry that I need to sort out and fold. So I need to do that. I need to clean the floors and just do some miscellaneous things around my apartment to get it reset. But I've used up all of my energy that I can today. So I'm going to take my dog out and change into some pajamas and then just climb into bed and go to sleep. So I will see you guys tomorrow morning. So the next morning I just took my exams and then ended up cleaning my apartment in the afternoon. So here I am just making my bed and I'm also going to be folding the laundry that I spoke about. I'm also going to be vacuuming my bedroom floor, picking up the floor, making sure there's no more clutter. I'm going to be sweeping the floor of my kitchen and tidying up my bathroom a little bit. This was such a relaxing cleaning session because I was finished with all of my exams. So I had a huge weight that was lifted off of my shoulder and I ended up doing well on my exams. So I was super happy about that. And it was just time to clean the rest of my apartment with this new energy that I was having. After I finished folding my laundry, I wanted to move on to cleaning some of these bags that have collected near my doorway. These are just leftovers from when I took my road trip. So I wanted to unpack everything. I had to unpack the suitcase, put the dirty clothes in the hamper and fold and put back the clean clothes and just sort through some of these grocery bags that had some items in them. It felt so good to get this organized. I just hate when there's miscellaneous items cluttering up my kitchen and doorway space. So I was super satisfied to get this done.
my bathroom was the last chore that I did on this afternoon. And I was super blessed on this afternoon after exams because it was such a beautiful sunny day. I was actually able to really relax on this afternoon and go to the pool in my neighborhood and just sit out and enjoy the sun. I think it was last September or October that I was able to do this. And it was so satisfying having a nice, clean, put together apartment. It wasn't perfect by any means, but just having it a mess these past few days has been super stressful. So now that it was nice and put back together, this was super satisfying. I took my dog for a quick walk, and as you can see, the sky is perfectly clear, and it is a beautiful, sunny day. I think it was about 75 degrees on this day, and you could actually see some of the flowers blooming, which was super exciting because these were the first signs of spring. walk I just sat out at the pool for a little bit. I just laid out on one of these chairs and read my book for a little bit and just enjoyed feeling the warm sun on my skin. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog. This was such a productive weekend. I'm so glad that my exams went well and I'm focusing more on filming and editing for you guys so that we have more consistent videos coming out. But I appreciate you guys so much. I will see you guys very soon in the next video. Take care and have a wonderful rest of your week.